So there is a there is a small story, right? So this this company which was making medical devices, yeah, manufacturing mm -hmm. medical device. I know there is somebody from medical devices. Who says medical devices? Yeah, right, medical devices. <laughs> so this company was making a small device which was used in the apparatus, if I'm saying the word right, which would give oxygen to patients in hospitals. So it's part of the whole thing, machinery that gives oxygen to a patient. All right. Now CEO of this company is talking to the team 1st of January, talking to the team on 1st of January. So what do you generally say on 1st of January? Huh? Happy New Year then, <laughs> previous year, whatever, 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 and then what we want to do this year, right? So I wish you, wish you guys a happy new year, everyone. Last year we made 10 billion rupees. Very good, well done. This year we need to make 15 billion. Can? 15 billion. That's like a 50% increase, right? <laughs> All right, everybody. Yet, yep, yeah, out there, tapio meru adam, me out there, marandi anne. Right, ko in the leg, me, 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 ye, ye ara 10 billion aran dunne, meri la mang tapon da paare gati la. Da ega tar, right? Huh? <laughs> Sounds like Hasid, no? <laughs> right, right, good. So, what this CEO did was not that. So he came and says, guys, I am so proud of you all. Last year, together, because of all of you, we were able to save 10,000 lives. Because of what you manufactured, we were able to provide to hospitals, when people needed oxygen, they were able to get the oxygen because of our medical device and we saved 10,000 lives. Guys, I applaud you and everybody is like happy, clapping, jumping, you know, all that. Very emotional. Now CEO says, what do you think? Can we get together this year and save 20,000 lives? Are you with me? Can we do this together? Wouldn't that be amazing? Think of the impact we are going to have on people. And everybody's, yes sir, let's do this. Was 20,000 versus 10,000? 100% increase. What's the difference? You're touching the heart. Are you understanding? Now there are people from leasing companies here. Yeah? You're trying to sell a vehicle lease to someone, right? You're trying to motivate your staff to go and get more, sell more vehicle leases. You're actually not selling vehicle leases. What are you selling? You have to get to, what are you selling? What are you selling? Dreams! You are selling dreams! If this person, family has a vehicle, wow! They are living a standard is going to go up, they are going to be able to take the children to school, they are going to be able to do this, they are going to be able to go on trips. Now think, I sell my leases and I get my target. What have I done? I have made so many hundreds of families happy! Now isn't that different? By doing that, don't I also achieve the target? Don't I also achieve the target? Right. So you have to think, right? Where, where does emotions come in? People are not driven by anything other than emotions, ultimately, end of the day, right? Emotions need to drive us. Even if it's they're selling software or whatever it is, figure out the emotion. How do we link this? How do we link this? How do we link this? Is that making sense? Is that making sense? By the way, I didn't do this so far, but let's do it now, right? Whenever you think some, something is a good idea, and I will ask you, do you think it's a good idea? Can I say, can I ask you to say, it's a great idea, and very quickly high-five the people around the table? <laughs> okay, so... Help our team member to succeed. Is it a good idea? It's a, shall, can you say, it's a great idea. Come on. Idea. And high five. Come on, high five. No, 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 no. Right, round the table. Can you all do it round your table also? <laughs> <laughs> and you can stand up and do it. High five. High five. High five. High five. High five. High five. <laughs> <laughs> right. Right. But let's do this from time to time. It just brings our energy levels up, right? Plus it reinforces the learning. That's important. Help my team member to succeed. Did you get this on your mind map? And when the team member succeeds, what happens to me? Come on. When the team member succeeds, what happens to you? You succeed! Wow. No brainer. So what has happened? You have achieved your targets now. And you are happy. And the team is happy. Everyone is happy. Yeah. So I, I keep telling... Can I be the devil? Be the devil. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Isn't the, uh, isn't the team going to say, oh, oh we, we did all this, we did all this, we did all this. Yeah. What uh, Sampad is asking, so after all this, we achieve target and you get a Mercedes. Doesn't matter 
as long as the team has also got whatever you promised them to get. Yeah, you are still the CEO of the company, right? Yes, and people know that. People appreciate that. People know you're leading them. People know it's your company if you're the owner or whatever, right? Yeah, I don't think that's a problem. It's, it's all about being transparent. It's all about walking the talk. It's all about being authentic. It's all about being genuine, really. Correct? Yes. Yeah, it's, it's when we are not genuine or when somebody else is not, right? So recently I went to, I'm, I'm partnering with Slashcom to do a whole series of programs for the undergrads, which I'm enjoying thoroughly. So we are seeing universities we didn't know existed really. <laughs> so I, I did one at Sabaragamua, went well. Uh, we had about uh, 100 physically there and another 280 joining virtually. And the students were like really interested, right? The next one was at Jafura. <laughs> Jafura, now when the person from Slashcom was doing the intro, I was, I always look around to see what are people doing while someone is talking, right? That's learning for me and preparation for me. How am I going to tackle this? And I realize this, probably 10% were listening, 90% were on their phones, not even bothering to pretend to listen. Yeah, now if I am talking, I don't want even 2% to not be listening. So I'll try to make sure everybody is. So I got up there and it was now totally off the cuff, not planned. Because <laughs> I first needed to get them to listen. Why are you here? I'm sure you're here because the lecturer told you to be here. You have absolutely no interest to be here, right? So let me tell you, I, no, I, I asked them, how many of you are interested in yourself? Forget about being interested in whatever. Are you interested in, in yourself, in your own future? That's a pretty obvious question. If I then I would have told them, go home. <laughs> What else to do, right? Right? So these ones, they, they, they were surprised, right? First of all, there was a nice podium on the stage for me. I didn't stay there. I just got off the stage, came into them like this, and I'm in their face. <laughs> right? <coughs> what do you want? Are you interested in yourself? So, I'm already not interested. Right. Okay, good. Now, let me tell you why you should listen to me. Right? Because people like you, when you go to industry, you think you have got a qualification, you won't get a job. You won't get a job. Because the industry says, you're highly qualified, yes? But you don't suit the industry because you don't have this thing called soft skills. And let me tell you, I have, in, I have interviewed more than 600, 700 people like you in my life and rejected most of them. <laughs> interviewed at companies like this which you are trying to join. Now do you think you should listen? Now I can see attention is there. And the guys are wondering why am I talking to them so passionately and maybe a little bit harshly as well. I said, look, I am here only to do a two hour lecture for you. As long as I do that two hour lecture, my job is done. My job is not to make sure you listen to me, just to teach and go, which I can do. But that's of absolutely no use to me, <laughs> right? I want to help you. I want to make some change in you, right? That is why I'm not on the stage behind the podium. That's why I'm here. That's why I'm talking to you like this. Now they are listening. Now they want to learn. You can see the, the difference. As soon as we are genuine, people will respond to that. It has never failed me, really. It has never failed me. So, what's the, what's the thing? Be genuine. <laughs> yeah. So today in the morning, if some of you came very early, we were trying to set up the sound, and I lost my cool with the technician. <laughs> right? <laughs> Who's here, I think, somewhere, right? Because the guy was trying to tell me the reason it wasn't uh, coming properly on the screen was the laptop. I said, no, it's not the laptop, it's the projector. And that guy, like, he, he knew 100% it was not. He was promising him it was the projector. I said, okay, then let's try. Uh, it was the laptop. So he tried everything on the laptop, then finally found it was the projector. <laughs> so you can monkey away. <laughs> right? Don't say things with 100% certainty and belief if you are not sure. <laughs> right? So I came and said, you know, don't be to people like that. You know, you are starting the program. There are other people who have come for the program also. Right? But sometimes I can't help it because I, am, I speak very passionately. <laughs> Plus and minus. <laughs> right? But the point is, it's always me. I am never trying to be someone I am not. So you get the good with the bad. And I think that's fine, isn't it? Right? We all have bad in us, no? Nobody here is 100% good, are we? Yeah, we all have bad days. We all have little idiosyncrasies that make us who we are. But we are still the genuine article, right? Yeah, but, but actually what I was doing by even scolding that guy was trying to help him. Not do the same thing with someone else. <laughs> you know, so I'm saying if you don't know what you're saying, don't say it like you do. 
then say it like I'm not sure let's check both and see that will be fine are you understanding the difference for, for, for me that was also a learning moment or a teaching moment yeah so let's be genuine and I think everything else will fall into place you look at the leadership of our country fundamental problem is we don't have genuine leaders all our leaders are looking for something for themselves first not that we are not looking for something for ourselves. Yes, we are. But hopefully we are trying to give value first and then get something for ourselves, right? And there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with that. But if you are trying to get something for ourselves without giving any value, I think that's fundamentally flawed. Correct? Yeah, right? So, help my team member to succeed. Team member succeeds, I succeed. Have you all got this written down in your mind map? Yeah, that's really important. So